Morning folks, 21st century caveman here, hope everybody's well. So we're fitting a carpet in one of the spare bedrooms this morning. Um, I started a little bit late, so um, I'm a little bit short of time, so I do need to get cracking on with this. I'll just scan around the room. So one of the first things you'll notice is the fact that the door has been removed. And this is the door which I've been, um, you know, stripping the paint off sanding painting and um, that's contained within another video obviously the room needs to be cleared and indeed it has been cleared that's taken me quite some time actually it's taken me about an hour and a quarter to clear this out um, you will notice also that the floor has been repaired i've also got some um, spare gripper rod for the bits which are missing which you can see Okay, so um, I think other than that, that's about it really. The, I think the only other thing I'll mention is the fact that um, because I've decorated, I've stripped off old paper um, using the heat gun, um, it may be the case that I need to just poke out any bits of old paper and rubbish, any debris basically, from behind there just to make sure that um, when I fix the carpet, I can tuck it down behind there. So I'm leaving this about five or six mil from the skirting board. Yeah, so basically this area here, look, I'm gonna to have to give that a miss. I can't get any gripper rod under there, okay. Um, if I had more time, I'll perhaps remove these nails here, look. And just glue this thing down, but I haven't got enough time, okay. So I'm just gonna give that a bit of miss. Should be all right. So this roll contains 15 square metres of underlay. I purchased it from online carpets in the UK, um, where I got the, um, the other underlay from, which I did the lounge with. Um, this cost just under £35, and it, the delivery was free. Now, I bought the carpet from Carpet Right, and I asked them, just as a matter of curiosity, just to quote before, um, you know, 15 square metres of underlay, and they quoted me just under £100. So basically, for pretty much the same quality, same specification underlay, they were quoting me nearly um, three times the price. So my advice to anybody who fancies fitting their own carpet is, you know, do not buy underlay from Carpet Right. It's an absolute rip-off. Nearly 100 quid for this roll. So you've got 15 square metres, it's a 10 millimetre underlay, £35, delivered free, amazing. Okay, so this is the underlay I'm using, um, 10 mil thick, so you know this is going to give a decent amount of cushioning, okay, and that's what I used in the lounge downstairs, okay. So this is the bit that, well let's just have a look, um, yeah, this surface here, look, the rough bit, that's the bit that goes on the floor and this is the bit that faces up which you see when you lay the carpet. So I'm going to lay this lengthways. There we go, look, just inside the gripper rod. So I just need to cut it into the gripper rod. This is a lot easier just doing it this way. Okay, there we go, look, that's fine. Oh, 
of there then just uh, roll this out as far as I need to go. Okay. So once again I'm going to uh, cut this back, try and keep it as square as I can. As I say, the, um, the whole point of doing this is just to make it as easy as possible for me to handle. And obviously I want to keep it as square as I can. <clears throat> so that um, we've got a nice square edge to start with the next time we go back to the rest of this roll. Okay. So we're now in a situation whereby we've cut off as much as we need. And as you can see, this is so much easier to handle. So we just need to line up those straight edges. Gonna trim it back then. And already this blade is becoming a little bit blunt, so I'm gonna change it in a minute. And I'm going to cut away from the the, uh, the corner. things which I've noticed since doing my um, YouTube channel <clears throat> is the fact that um, when you put out videos um, whether it's I don't know laying carpets plastering joinery whatever it is and the plasters are the worst you know people can be very critical especially the um, the people who are obviously in the trade and um, you know I just don't take any notes of them basically um, and then save myself an absolute stack of cash doing this sort of thing myself. And um, a lot of it's just jealousy because these people don't like to see people like myself, people who are DIYs, people who are prepared, people who've got the guts to have a go and try and do stuff for themselves and save themselves a few quid and uh, so they can better support their family. They, they, they don't like it basically. There's a lot of jealousy out there. So for anybody you know who wants to try this, I would really urge them to have a go and um, you know um, obviously you know a lot of it's a confidence thing you know you need to practice makes perfect as we all know but it's worth having a go um, because the more you practice the better you'll get the greater your confidence will be and the more money you're going to save I mean all the stuff I do you know I didn't just you know have that knowledge, you acquire it. And you acquire it by practicing, by being prepared to have a go, by being prepared to challenge yourself. Being prepared for the fact that you're gonna make mistakes, you're, you're going to make mistakes. <clears throat> and you won't always get it right the first time. The important thing is, of course, that you learn from your mistakes and you don't become easily discouraged. Okay, so uh, we were talking about professional tradespeople. And as I say, you, um, you know, you do get a lot of stick when you post videos on YouTube from professional tradespeople, criticizing you for absolutely everything. Okay, no matter how good the job is, the finished result is, they'll criticize you. Obviously there's a lot of jealousy there because they don't like to think that Joe Public can just pick up 
a few tools, buy some materials and do a job which they have been trained for, which they earn a lot of money for. They don't like it basically. Um, and uh, you do get, uh, there's quite a bit of animosity out there. And um, you know, I'll certainly get you know, some negative comments from people. But as I say, I don't care. I know that I can turn out a good job. And um, you know, that's all I'm bothered about. There are of course certain jobs which uh, I wouldn't dream of trying to do myself. Um, things to do with anything major to do with electrics or gas. Obviously, the reason is because of the potential danger. And I've never ever compromised myself or my family by attempting to do something um, which was dangerous. So I think that's one thing I've stressed straight away. And um, you know, in a situation like that, I've got absolutely no problem whatsoever in paying a highly skilled and qualified tradesperson to do a highly specialised job. Lovely.